a simple painting of a durgama pendant along with matching earrings uh, this was requested by one of the subscribers and with navratri inching closer i think uh, the time is just appropriate i really hope you all enjoy watching the video please don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel if you already haven't hope you enjoy watching the video thank you for this if you see i have laid out um, all the materials that i require at least for painting this is a square pendant that has been uh, fired gauge 24 u pins on the top and gauge 26 5 u pins at the base these are the earrings again uh, gauge 26 u pins both on the top as well as the base this is a white acrylic paint black gold and red these are the only colors that we're going to be using I'm just going to make use of these two brushes a 20 by 0 liner brush and a, a round tip soft bristle 10 number brush let's begin by applying the base coat of red all throughout the pendant as well as the earring let the coat be even I have diluted uh, the red color paint uh, with a couple of drops of water. Using a pencil, I draw out the design or the drawing very lightly. Uh, this is just for my reference. Uh, if you are not very comfortable to directly draw the particular picture, you can always trace a design on. Have some black uh, paint diluted lightly this is my liner brush and we can start drawing the design out in black from now on I'm only going to be using the liner brush for uh, painting the entire piece level of detailing um, you know completely is your choice uh, you can choose to do more or you can obviously choose to do less however comfortable you are For the earrings, uh, what I have actually done is kept them side by side and uh, tried drawing an entire figure so that half of the face comes on the left and half comes on the right pair of the earring. A little bit of detailing using white paint. Now with gold. I add a few more um, ornamental details. The color combination looks absolutely divine. Like I said earlier, uh, the level uh, at which you want to keep the designs is completely your choice. Whether you want to detail it even further or you want to keep it simple, that's totally up to you. Adding a few more designs uh, to the empty space in the pendant. I would do this for the earrings as well.
with a little bit of black paint i'm just neatening all the lines again adding some more details uh, like little dots with white color paint and my liner brush this uh, is actually my favorite part because uh, it makes a big difference to how the entire piece looks dots like these always to me i think make the piece look a little bit more ornamental a little bit more detailed adding a little white to make the eyes a little bit more vibrant this is totally optional you can choose to do it or you can totally leave it just the way it is now that the paint is completely dried it's time to varnish this is the product i use give it a good shake and transfer a small quantity of that into a bowl or a cup and using a soft bristle brush apply a generous coat on the pendant as well as the earring i do uh, the front as well as the sides and the back once the pendant has dried it's time to assemble if you see i've already begun the assembling process here using this uh, stiff dory thread thread beads and a pair of jump rings i've already inserted a jump ring follow that with a thread bead using a bent nose plier and a flat nose plier we insert it and we close the jump ring please do this carefully you do not want to scratch or cause any kind of damage uh, to the pendant this style of assembling is purely suggestive uh, you can obviously choose any any kind of uh, assembling cord or material that you choose or you prefer just make sure that the jump ring is closed completely these are just uh, some antique earring hooks and we assemble the earrings you probably wondering why are the bottom pins empty let's get to that let's see how we can make these beautiful little things it's really easy all you need is a head pin a thread bead two wooden beads these are just 4 mm they have a really small hole these beads are something that i picked up uh, from bombay a long long time ago from crawford market they're just little pearls that are stitched on around the side of this golden metal I haven't used those in a very long time and I just um uh, I just realized that I had them with me and I thought I should just use them in this particular project. So I put the wooden bead first followed by that beautiful pearly one then the thread bead and then again the pearly one and then the wood. So that's how I arrived at this kind of an arrangement. I cut off the excess using my cutting plier. using a um round round nose plier i make a loop and that's it as simple as that don't these look absolutely stunning now let's see how we can actually attach these on to the uh earrings and the pendant
I open the loop a little bit using my round tip nose plier. Insert it into the earring and close the loop. Beautiful, isn't it? And they're really light as well. We repeat the same thing for the other earring as well as all the pen all the uh, hooks that is at the base of the pendant so again there are five u pins at the base of the pendant and one each for the earring and the piece is finally ready i really hope you all enjoyed watching this video i think the color combination the different materials that have been used uh, to put this entire set together i think it just the outcome is just so beautiful um advance wishes happy navratri to all of you thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for watching